Hey, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. Well, the weekend actually didn't get started yet. It's still early. It's 1130 here in southern New Jersey, but uh, just wishing everybody a happy uh, Labor Day weekend. And uh, yeah, just a safe, safe weekend. You know how it gets on these weekends, these big weekends. People get drinking, partying, all hammered up. You know, and they lose a little control of themselves. So uh, just be safe out there and, uh, yeah, really, just enjoy it. I certainly hope I can. I think I'm just going to take a rip on the bike. Um, I don't think I'm doing uh, much more than that. I just want to uh, get on my bike and I want to take a long, not real long, I just want to take a rip, probably an hour ride there hour ride back no matter where i go um i normally don't go uh further than like two hours you know what i mean my back starts hurting after that it's not like i can't but my back starts hurting i don't I, you know so i will be uh taking a ride on my bike and it airs my head out it clears everything i just go into that that clear mode and um i just get cruising so that's what I think I have planned. Then I think uh, tomorrow, um, instead of stepping out of the, um, you know, instead of the, the cheeseburger, the hot dog, the normal stuff that everybody eats like that, the corn, all that good stuff you eat every year. I'm going to try and um, I found a recipe that I fell in love with on Instagram. I'm going to try and make steak tacos, and they looked like, I mean, to die for, and I couldn't pass it up, so I immediately went out and bought the ingredients, well, the steak, and I have most of the other stuff in here, but I'm making big uh, steak uh, burritos wrapped in a nice uh, soft taco uh, shell, so anything more than that? That's my plans for the weekend. That's the extent of it. Um, what else? It is um, Fun Night Friday. And I got two pieces to show you guys. Both pieces didn't get... Of course, they didn't get proper um, videos. Uh, nor will this one. I just want to show it again. I'm going to turn around and come back and do a real proper uh, video on it. A video where... It's going to be a, a, what do you call it, uh, on the table video where you're not going to see my ugly mug. You're just going to see my hands dancing around and talking about the knife and all that stuff. But anyway, um, what I wanted to show you first was um, this cold steel piece that I got in. And this, the reason why I'm having so much fun with these pieces are because I've never experienced big knives before in my collecting years. It's been over 25 years I've been um, playing around with knives, and I never dabbled my toes into the big pieces. And I tell you what, man, I'm having a ball. I'm having, I am having the best time with these big knives. Not, uh, not that I did that much with them. It's not, a, it's not that I did that much with them. It's just they're you can they're just fun to me i mean i could tell by handling them um just the little things that i did with them they're fun they're going to be fun too um let's stop talking because we got to stay on topic we got to stay on the point let's get to it this ladies and gentlemen is my newest one of the two of my newest acquisitions. This is the Cold Steel Bowie. I gotta back up, I don't think I'm in focus here. This is the Cold Steel Bowie. And when this thing came to me, let me tell you guys, it was in the heat and it was in the sun and it baked in the box. Probably, I don't even know how long it baked in the box. And when I opened it up, the, um, this guard was covered in tarnish and the handle was real sticky and it had stain running down the blade. Everything 
I, I didn't know what to do. I had to get a shower. Like I said in the other video, I actually, after I cleaned it up, I got in the shower because I was full of steam from the handle. And it's still tacky. That's why I didn't sand it yet, because I want it to dry before I sand it. Now, um, I cleaned up the blade. I cleaned up the guard. So everything's coming along. It really, really looks like a, it's a nice piece, man. It's a really, really nice piece. I can't, yeah, I'm going to see it like that, I guess. I got to hold it like this. Um, but it's a really, really nice piece of cutlery. Um, now, after these handles are sanded, it's even going to look better than that. Now, shout out to uh, Williams Knife Life. Okay, Williams Knife Life. Um, he sanded his handles on his, and it brought the grain out. He then turned around and put linseed oil on it, and his handles look fantastic. Um, please go over and look at William's Knife Life uh, video on this cold steel uh, buoy. And look at how he sanded the handles and how beautiful they look. Seriously, go check it out. Um, but it's coming along. You can tell that it's going to be a fantastic piece of cutlery. And in hand, holding it, it's just so... Um, like the weight is fantastic on it. You can tell that it's just, you just, when you put this in your hand, uh, the, the best way to explain it is you just automatically want to go into a chopping mode or you want to slice something or you want to cut, you want to cut something. Okay. Um, it's that kind of blade because it feels great in hand. The weight feels awesome. Um, and let me note, let me uh, state that this blade, it's 1080 steel. And I'm going to tell you that the edge of this blade is so sharp. Um, it's just scary sharp, man. I keep feeling it. I'm like, man, that thing is sharp out of the box. But it's going to be a great piece. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun piece. Um, once I get these handles sanded and, um, I was thinking about also doing a video once everything is done, um, I'll get a watermelon or two or three watermelons cause they're going out of season now and you could get them for like two bucks, three bucks, big watermelons. And I'll grab a couple of them and I'll just do some slight, I'll just slice watermelons. You know, I don't know. Um, but this is my fun knife, uh, number one. Okay, that's fun knife number one. And I'll tell you, man, it, it, it is fun. It is fun. Not to, just to even handle like this right now. Like I'm having a ball, I'm having a blast right now, just even just doing what I'm doing with it right now. You know what I mean? So this is the Cold Steel Wild West buoy. Now, also I want to show you the sheath. I've also been working on the sheath. Um, it's coming along. It came really, really, really dry. So I'm still working on it and I'll show it to you. Put that down. Now this is the sheath that came with the uh, Cold Steel Wild West buoy. Uh, let's get you in on that. Now, I just got done treating it with another coat of mineral oil. I'm just shooting it with straight up mineral oil. And when this came to me, I didn't think I was actually going to be able to use the sheath because that is how brittle, that's how brittle uh, this sheath was. Um, I thought that if I bent it, or if I did anything to it, it would crack and break. That's how it came to me. But you can make these sheaths, you can bring them back. And this is exactly what I'm doing. This, this sheath is actually coming right back to life again. Um, it's taken quite a couple coats of uh, oil, but um, I'm getting it there. You know what I mean? I'm getting it there. So... 
you know, I was thinking about when I got this through the mail, I was like, oh my God, I was like, I got to get a sheath made for it. There's no way I could use this sheath. There's no way. But it's, it's actually coming along quite better than I thought. And um, I'm going to be able to use this just fine. Just fine. So that's the sheath for the Cold Steel Wild West Bowie. Now we go to the other piece. Now this piece, I have really, I mean, when I, when I unbox this one, when I unbox this one, um, this is one of the finest pieces of cutlery that I've ever handled. This is one of those pieces that when I unboxed it, I took it out of its box and I handled it. I says, oh my God. I said, I really do think, I really do think that this is one of the best knives that I have ever handled in, in collecting knives in all the years that 25 years that I've been collecting knives, this is one of those knives that I think um, is just fantastic. I mean, really it is. The weight, just when you feel the weight, it's like different. You know, you can feel there's something different about it. Um, this is the Cold Steel Arbolito. Uh, the Cold Steel Arbolito. Yeah, that's what it is. This is the Boker Arbolito El Gante. The Boker Arbolito El Gante. And I'll tell you guys, it's really a fantastic piece. Look at this beautiful cut wedge up top here. Um, the stone washing is, I never, it's so fine. It's such a fine stone washing. I just love I, oh my God, I love that stone washing on this blade. It, it came out really, really fantastic. It is flawless. It is almost flawless. I know no, no knife is flawless, but you've got these, um, uh, these um, scales here that are uh, ebony. They're ebony wood scales. Uh, very, f uh, they're like ribbing, rib textured, uh, ebony scales um, they feel great man they feel great in the hand guys um, again just like lightly just swinging it like this I mean it just feels like they they put something they concentrated on the weight on this piece because you can just swing this thing maneuver this thing as far as chop chopping goes cutting um, it has to be up there. Just if you cut something with this piece, um, it has to be up there with one of the best cutters out there. I mean, you can tell, you can feel it. The blade, the blade is just ungodly. It's N695 steel. Um, and just, um, it's just absolutely a great piece, guys. Um... You know, it's the Boker Arbolito El Gante. Um, if, if you guys are into the bigger knives, you know, and there's a lot of people that like these bigger knives, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to look into this one. Um, this is absolutely fun. Um, yeah, it's a great piece. It's a great piece. But that's the Boker uh, Arbolito El Gante. And that's it, guys. I'll show you the sheath real quick. Before I do that, the shirt that I'm wearing today is just the tip. Uh, I promise. So I'm wearing just the tip. I promise shirt. There it is, guys. I promise just the tip. Um, so the sheath, it's like a old school, uh, basket weave, uh, sheath. Now I've been coating this with just a little bit of uh, mineral oil and this thing has become so soft. 
and supple, man. This thing. Look at the Boker um, pit, uh, snaps. I mean, you're talking Boker quality. And this is not a Sologen piece, guys. I forgot to tell you. This piece is made in Argentina. This is an Argentina knife, okay? Uh, so this knife was made in Argentina, not in Sologen, Germany. Not in Sologen, Germany. So that's about it. And um, in closing, once again, guys, I just want to wish everybody a very happy uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, be safe out there. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And um, I guess I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Be good. Be well. Be safe. And uh, stay well, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.